The People's Democratic Party on Monday called for an investigation into allegation of fraud, stealing and looting of funds in the Niger Delta Development Commission under the All Progressives Congress-led uh, administration. The PDP National Publicity Secretary Kola Lobodion in a statement also alleged that the NDDC under the current management had become an automated teller machine for alleged corrupt APC leaders. The PDP spokesman called on the National Assembly to commence an investigation into the books of the NDDC, recover the alleged looted funds and channel the money to projects meant for the well-being of Nigerians. A lot of the referenced reports that the NDDC had already spent over 1.45 billion naira purportedly for supply of kits and palliatives to Nigerians in nine states and said that the matter should be referred to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and not an internal investigation. He stated that the PDP invites Nigerians to observe that top officials appointed by President Buhari to oversee the NDDC include individuals with corruption charges from their previous public assignments, including uh, as state governors. And joining us live is human rights lawyer Femi Falono uh, to take a look at this. Good morning. Uh, good morning, good morning, sir. Thank you for good joining morning. us this morning. Uh, let's go yeah. quickly to the matter. Was it always a case of faulty foundations, uh, the fox being asked to guard the egg, so to speak, uh, since the allegations are founded on the fact that those put in charge of funds were politicians rather than technocrats operating within a transparent system? Well, it has nothing to do with uh, the political background of the appointees. One thing that we have to get very, very clear is the need for the government, particularly the Buhari administration, mm -hmm. to operate under the rule of law. By virtue of the NDDC Act, there's no provision whatsoever for an interim management committee. The law provides for a board whose members are nominated by the president screen and confirmed by the Senate. And that happened in this case. The president sent nominees, names of nominees to the Senate last year. They were screened. The members were confirmed. And at the time they were to get their letters of appointment, the president set up an interim committee. So, Abinicio, the appointment of the interim committee is illegal and unknown to law. And I've said this publicly. So, if you take it from there, anything done by the committee is a nullity. And so once it is a committee that is not answerable to the Nigerian people, what do you expect? And this is why some monumental scandal being reported in that organization is not being addressed by the president, you know, or the anti graft agencies. Because this is a committee of the president, not a committee of the law, not a committee of, of the country. So this is, the, this is the root cause of the crisis that is unfolding in the end of the city. But one would ask, is the real challenge then not our systems of transparency or a lack of it, which is, you know, which keep allowing for such abuse to continue? The laws are very clear on uh, investigating cases of corruption, abuse of office in our country. Uh, just imagine what happened last week. Some individuals, some madmen officials were removed by the NDDC, Management Committee. The federal government, to the Federal Civil Service Commission, came out lamely to say what you have done is not in line with the law. Is that, the, is that how to handle a country? Or you call those who have breached due process to order and, and order the reinstatement of those who have been removed illegally? Is the same thing, the same goes for the allegations of monumental fraud. The presidency has not ordered, you know, the anti graft agencies to investigate these revelations. Yet you say, though, the purpose of setting up an interim committee is for us to audit the agency. Do you need an audit? Do you need an agency 
an interim committee to do that when you have the office of the Auditor General of the Federation, empowered by Section 85 of the Constitution to audit all agencies of the government annually. So it is the, it is the departure from due process, mm -hmm. the breach of the Constitution, and then and the enabling loss of these agencies that can be said to be responsible for the very disturbing development in the NDDC. Yeah. This is a body created to carry out like a Marshall Plan in respect of the abandoned Niger Delta, highly devastated by, 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 by pollution. But what has happened over the years is that it's been turned into a cesspool of corruption by very unpatriotic and irresponsible, you know, a political elite. Right. But you would have expected a regime that claims to want to change the way the country is managed. A regime that says it is no longer be, it shall no longer be business as usual to depart from the way and manner these organizations are run. But what have you seen in the last five years? Criminals are consolidating their hegemonic control of the resources of the country. Again, it begs the question, sir, how do we get away from making issues of accountability, you know, in Nigeria and service delivery uh, as an APC or PDP matter, rather than a matter of accounting for the people's common world? How do we go around that? The only way we can go around this is for the Nigerian people to get organized because the people of our country, the masses are the greater victims of corruption and abuse of office. You know, now we need patriotic forces to organize them. It's only the people that can fight corruption, not a regime, because government officials are the most corrupt people all over the place. So they cannot genuinely fight themselves unless when they have what you might call in track class feud, you know, when they are fighting each other. And that is why the APC will try to expose uh, PD people and vice versa. But it has to be a, a, a country run on the basis of equity, uh, uh, whoever commits the eleventh commandment of the bourgeoisie, thou shalt not be caught, will be dealt with by the law. But not this business of selective prosecution and selective investigation. And that is why the Nigerian people will have to take control of the country. That is the only solution. Thank you so very much, sir, for joining us on News on the R and for your contributions also. Thank you. My pleasure.